Hello guys, my name is Gus, also known as Geeksy or Geeksy Gamma, and this is my first video for Old MPS Productions. I am your newest member, and I am basically going to be your tech and redstone person. I know a lot about computers, I know a lot about programming, I know a lot about electronics, such as this. Um, redstone, I think I said that already. Oh well. Um, you know, so I'm going to be doing a lot of that kind of stuff. I'll do tutorials if you want them. I'll do, uh, you know, how-tos maybe. I'll do redstone videos, redstone tutorials. You know, some random stuff. And it'll be a lot of fun. So, now I guess I want to get to what I want to show y'all today. This is the prototype for my pulsing LED gauntlet. So, let's see. You have a potentiometer, a button, three switches, and then here you have two rows of LEDs. Um, oh, and then of course up here at the top you have a uh, microcontroller. It's called the Arduino Mega. Arduino is a line of microcontrollers. Um, basically, a microcontroller is just a really simple computer that you can program. You know, it's uh, really helpful for testing out electronics or building really small things that don't require a whole computer to run them or something crazy like that. Yeah, really compact. And uh, you know, that, that's the thing is I'm running this whole thing, and actually I'm running the whole uh, Arduino just off this little nine volt. Actually, it's probably an almost dead 9 volt by now. I've been using it a lot, a lot. Um, so hopefully it doesn't die on us. But uh, let me go ahead and reset it, restart it. And uh, there you saw the uh, boot sequence for the Mega. Or not for the Mega, but for my gauntlet, I made it. Um, go ahead and show you some... I don't know. Show you some patterns at random. Pattern 1 and pattern 5. Um, just so I can do different patterns. Um, I can also control speed with this little uh, potentiometer. Potentiometer, if you don't know, is a like, like a resistor, except it's variable. So the power runs through it, and if I have it set to a really high resistance, um, the number I get is really low. And because that number is really low, I get a really short delay time. So these LEDs move from space to space really fast. And if I have a really low resistance, I get a really high output, a really high number. And so the delay is really long. So that's the thing. is I, can, I, I turn this to adjust the resistance, and I adjust, that in turn, adjust the speed. Um, the switches are used for selecting the mode, and the button is used to basically just, you know, run through the different steps of the programming, of programming the patterns. So, it's really simple. Actually, there's a interesting thing about the way this is set up to work. Um, right now, you'll see it's in programming mode, so I can actually set the patterns. If I hold it up really close, you'll see they're kind of blinking a little, almost, you know, pulsing more than blinking. But um, that's actually because they are pulsing like that a little bit. But um, with the human eye, it's too fast to see. With a camera, you really can, you actually can, and it's kind of cool looking actually. But basically, I have I'm using this thing called Charlie Plexing to wire them together so that I can use these eight LEDs with only four wires. I'm currently using what a white, a blue, a green, and a yellow wire to you know just so I can have the colors separated to uh, run this. And with that, I am. With that, I um, you know, I'm just I'm saving pins on this. Well, yes, it looks like I have I have a ton of pins all over this thing. If I can reduce the number, especially since I'm gonna have four of these in the end. If I had to use eight pins for each one, I mean that would be 32 pins versus the 16 I'm gonna end up just using. I'm halving the number of pins, so it's a lot easier that way. I'll go ahead and actually I'm gonna go ahead and run through the modes on y'all or for y'all. Yes, I am southern. You can deal with it. There you go. Um, we have one going forward and we have one going backwards. They're not actually going in a circle. That's just your eye's perception of it. Uh, if I put them both the same direction, you'll notice. I mean, they're just going back to the beginning. 
but um, then you have uh, pattern three and four, and that is back and forth, and then the top one is to the center. Uh, whoops, ah, need to watch where my hand is. <laughs> uh, anyway, so you know they're just going to the center there. Then the next one is going to be what? Five. I'm just going to go ahead and show you five by itself. And that's the pulse out from the center. Uh, and then six and seven. Six and seven. Um, you'll notice they're almost the same. But uh, six looks is going to look more like it's going. It's hitting to the center. It's hitting the center and then going back. Or if I can get in time here, I'm not very good at that. Uh, you know, the the one on the top is going to look more like it's going through each other, back over, and that's just because they're they're doing the same thing. This one on the top is just skipping a step at the center, so when it hits the center, it just skips over each other and goes over faster, and that just makes it um, look more like it's going through each other, but. These two modes, I mean, whether, you know, unless you're just looking at them at the same time, they look almost the same. Um, the crisscross, which is the one on the top here, looks a lot better with an odd number of LEDs, and then the, uh, uh, the two in front of the center look a lot better with an even number of LEDs, but, you know, I'm using the same number here on both, so not too much you can do about it, really. Um, let's see. Uh, the code for all of this is available online. I'll have links to that in the description. I mean, I wrote all the code myself. It's, you know, it's totally my own code, and it's free for you to do whatever you want with it. Um, it's actually licensed under the uh, GNU General Public License, which is the open source license that, if you're, if you know anything about like Linux and stuff, that's what that's released under. Um, you know, the the Free Software Foundation supports it. Uh, actually, it's free. When I say free, it's free as in freedom of speech, meaning that you can use it, you can edit it, you can redistribute it, your, your own copy of it. You can't, you know, redistributing their copy is illegal, but if you were to edit it and make it your, make it your own, pretty much, you could um, resell it. Yes, sell. That's what I'm saying. Free as in free um, speech, not free beer. You can actually sell uh, GNU GPL software. And uh, I'm not going to, though, of course. This is this is all free to anyone. I'll have links to that. I'll have links to the Arduino Mega. I'll have links to um, uh, Charlie Plexing with the like I'm doing with the LEDs. I might have some links to uh, you know information on a potentiometer because that is pretty cool. I'm sure y'all know how switches and a button work. Uh, any other links I can think of, I might throw down there for you to look through if you want to. Want to. Uh, please like, favorite, subscribe to this video. Um, you know, Old MPS, he's, he's got an awesome channel here. I'm very happy to be a part of it. Please, you know, show your support. Uh, please continue to watch my videos. I will be doing tutorials and, you know, just sort of random whatever I'm up to at the time as I can. Uh, yeah, that. Oh, if you have any questions, please. I would love to see questions in the comments uh, about this or about anything really, anything computer related. I will do my best to answer them. Uh, I mean, I'm not a know-it-all. I'm, I'm in high school still, you know. I, I don't know it all, but I do know a lot, and I can hopefully get answers on it. Uh, particularly if you would ask questions about this, I'd be very happy. I mean, this thing is amazing. I think, and if you want to figure out how it works and stuff. I can go through you I can go through it with you a little more in depth than some other videos. I mean this one's already ridiculously long. Alright. Well I think that's it. Bye guys. See y'all next time.